Welcome back to The Realist Channel on YouTube. Obviously, we're out here in New York. I've adopted the culture. I've got a do-rag on and a stadium goods jumper. This means maybe I'm a resident. Maybe I'm gonna get a citizenship. Who knows? But we're out here, we're training hard, we're working hard, but I still got some of the production team with me, which means content is still being rolled out right now. So I'm gonna do a reaction to Deji playing a prank on Daily and also some, some new boxing footage. Let's see what Deji has to offer for the boy today. Okay. So nice. Okay. So Deji, so I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna pause that right there. 259. Deji's just throwing a one-two at the pads, but you can tell he's got good balance. You know, Deji's always had good balance, good posture, and, and he looks like he's continuing that way. Let's see, let's let's go from the beginning. Nice jab. Nice one-two. Uh-huh. I feel like Daly's done a really good job with Deji, you know? I'm gonna pause it here, 313. I feel like Daly's done a really good job with Deji. The reason why I say that is because I reckon I'm a good coach and I couldn't get through to Deji how Daly has got through to Deji. So I really think people should give Daly credit for bringing out what he's brought out in Deji. And Leon plays a big part too. I feel like those guys really get through to him. He listens to them. And we're seeing massive, massive progress. Let's continue the clip. Ooh. That's a nice little combo. I don't know if you can pull that off on someone, but that's a nice little hook underneath, roll, you know? Don't rush it. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Yeah, listen. Deji's looking dangerous. That's a good combination. It's advanced to be able to pull off a combination using one arm throwing multiple punches with one arm and he seems to be doing it very well obviously it is pads but it's still technique that he has in his arsenal so i want to see on a human nice nice good good work from deji good work that have had like 70 fights. Ooh. On Wednesday, you've got uh, pro professional fighters coming down to sparring on Wednesday. Nice. So you can in the deep end, man. So he's sparring with national champions now. Apparently, he's got in, he's getting too good for the sparring partners that he had, which is always a sign of progression. That's what we want to hear. National champions, that's good. Pushing Deji to unlock his next level. He will get smashed up, but it will be benefit him when he steps in the ring and gets people to level. What do you think about the uh, the Kingpin tournament? He is going in deep end. By the sounds yeah, of it, it's good. I think it's a good thing, man, for, the, for, these, for these fighters. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're still up and coming. They're still learning and everything. So that will give him, um, I think, valuable experience. It's not an easy tournament either. It's all tough. Yeah. Tough, tough. Uh, they're all on, like, they're pretty even. You know? The Kingpin tournament. I think it's a great idea. Just as they're discussing it, I'm just throwing my opinion in. I think the Kimpin tournament is a great idea. I'm interested to see if Daly can make his brother throw some hands, bro. Because that's what we want. We want Kenny to throw bangs. I see that tweet of him the other day looking very aggressive. And I hope that he brings that into the tournament, honestly. I think valuable experience. It's not an easy tournament either. It's all tough. Yeah. Tough, tough. Uh, they're all on like pretty even. I think it's exciting for the fans to see matchups that they want to see that like they don't get to see, like mm. Kenny versus Austin McBroom, or like Jay versus Gibb again. Mm. And, and it's just about putting yourself on the line, man. Yeah. There's fighters that do this, maneuver themselves where they stay away from the bigger fights. Yeah. Mm. But this tournament is forcing. Yeah, this tournament is forcing everyone to fight everyone. Taken yeah. If it was just a single fight on a single exactly. show. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's a good thing, man. I like how it's a all male tournament and an all female tournament as well. Okay, this is where I'm guessing the prank begins. I like. That. Yeah, yeah, but get like proper. Oh, okay. I bet. This guy's a troll. Uppercuts. Uppercuts, okay. Why are you acting like you've never done this before? I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Uppercuts, you don't have to do uppercuts. So, 
Do we think Daly was aware of the prank? That's the question. Do you think he told Daly before recording this, hey, let's do this prank today? Leave in the comments what you think. But my initial feeling is that Daly knows. Yeah. Based on the way Daly said, why are you acting like you haven't oh, done this that? before? Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What the f is going on? I don't know what I'm doing. You're way too long, man. Saudi f you up. How <laughs> about? Go again. Nah, now you Like, I feel like because he said uppercuts, you know how to do uppercuts and then shows him. I feel like that response is too nice. Maybe I just have mean coaches. Maybe I just have you, but <laughs> I feel like that response is too nice. I feel like your actual coach that knows you can do something be like, bro, like you taking the piss. Like, if if it was genuine, but the fact that he's going through like doing the tutorial, I feel like he was made aware and he's trying to act within the prank. That's that's my honest opinion. Playing games with me. Yeah. What do you mean? You're playing games with me because we were doing. There's no way <laughs> you'll question my whole coaching ability. <laughs> You're a shoe shot. Alright, okay. You're taking a piss then. <laughs> what do you There's mean? No way. You've tried to prank me, you lot. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Alright, okay, I'll be okay, I'll, I'll just play it. Alright, let's do it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Why are you doing it? Idiot, he's he's taking a piss out of me today. I'm literally, I don't know what I'm doing. This is an idiot, man. Are you an idiot? This is an idiot, man. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> you lot are definitely pranking me today. Oh, you want a spa? <laughs> no. You want a spa? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling what are you doing? it. Wait. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it right now. Why? What's wrong? I don't know, I feel like this is <laughs> kind of boring now. Like boxing, it's just kind of boring. Well, more than the last few weeks, you've been telling me to get ready. This I want to guy. Fight four times this year. He should have. I feel like he could have made the prank better. I feel like he could have pretended to do it a little bit better than he was doing it, just to keep Daily kind of like questioning what's going on. I feel like he made it too obvious that he's pranking him. You know what I'm saying? Like boxing, it's just kind of boring. Well, more than the last few weeks, you've been telling me to get ready. I want to fight four times this year, and now you're saying you're bored. I don't get it. I feel like I've, I'm finished with boxing now. I feel like I've like completed the game. So what was the point of you? <laughs> I was sat here. So I feel like I've completed the game. Rate, you know what I mean, <laughs> you think I ain't got a f life? You have me sitting here. I've got other boxers as well, and then you rock up late. Like it's alright. Why don't you want to box? I feel like I've done everything I need to do in boxing. Okay, I lost, but then I've won. Then I fought Floyd. I don't know. I feel like boxing. I'm just done with it now. I dedicate my life to you, bring you in as family, not just a I think daily knew. But I feel like okay, if I was to come back to boxing, I feel like I need, I need to just go to someone else, someone like better, like Floyd level. You know what I mean? <laughs> I am Floyd level, mate. Grass ain't always greener on the other side. I don't know. I feel like that's it, isn't it? Well, f it then. If that's what you want, Floyd level, I'll teach you real shit. I want real f warriors and dedication, man. Take a <laughs> Maybe you don't know. Every time. <laughs> I put to you, you f take the piss. Look at me, even taking your f***ing gloves off and oh. you, man. Get the f*** out of the ring. Get the f*** out of the ring before I f start some shit. Seriously, you're pissing me off. Get out of the f***ing ring, man. Get out of the f***ing ring. <laughs> playing games. Get out of the f***ing ring now. <laughs> no, this is the prank. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe, no, you know what? Maybe that part, he didn't. Maybe that part, maybe that part, Daily had no idea. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> nice, and then we got Deji back to his normal self, looking good, working hard. That, that Daily, yeah, take these off, my bad. There was parts of the prank where Daily, I feel like he was more onto it or maybe playing up to it. And then I feel like that bit, at the end, I think Deji actually got him with that. I think that's why Deji ended up doing that bit because I think he knew that the beginning bit weren't hitting, but that bit hit. Yeah. So, my people, that was my reaction anyway. Deji's still looking good. I want to see him back out in the ring soon. I don't know against who, but I just want to see him continue to show us the talent that he has. Daily, shout out to Daily, great coach, and honestly, 
I want to see can he throw some bangs in the Kingpin tournament. But anyway, without further ado, it is the end of the video, my people. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you put the notification bell on because we're going to keep the content coming. Christian, I don't know what you have for me next, but whatever it is, I'm going to react. All right? It's the end of the video. If you don't know what I do at the end of the video,